Grand Rising Collective. Um, I think I might need to scoot closer or scoot this camera closer or something. Um, but Grand Rising, you know, oh my god, the noob is really wants to be shown. <laughs> yeah, look at him, look at him. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, just keep the camera on me. Keep the camera on me. No, seriously, your noob is chill. Dog, I'm trying. I'm trying to get us both in the frame, baby. Chill. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hope you're all doing well. I need. I can't even get in the frame. The noob is just like, no, you don't deserve it. Like, <laughs> I'm always over here talking to Anubis. Fucking, he's playing game with me. I'm playing game with him. Um, yeah. Well, let's go find out what spirit wants you to say. It's like six in the morning. I just woke up, and spirit was like. This is like it's time. Honey, they didn't give me time to like actually fully wake up. They were just like, yep, you're awake. I was like, I was laying in bed. I'm like, I'm not even going to check the time because it's probably like fucking six in the morning. And then two minutes later, I was like, no, I'm going to check the time. And then it was six in the morning. And Stuart's like, yep, because you're doing a reading. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. <laughs> okay. We're gonna begin with the Kipper ish. Because I love beginning with the Kipper ish. So, what's going on? What's going on with the, with the Kipper ish? What's going on with the Kipper ish? I keep calling it the Kipper ish, but it's the Kipper. The Kipper ish is a deck that um, another reader that I watch has. And I'm, I'm buying that. I don't know if you watch these videos, but if you do, I'm buying it when it comes out. Okay. <laughs> love you if you do watch this. I'll love you to death. There's a privileged lady who's in. Oh. There's a privileged lady. I don't know why my voice cracked so much or why I said it like that. There's a privileged lady in a family room that is held in high honor. Wow, Mama, that's you as fuck. So, is this person being talked about? Lovers. There is a privileged lady. Oh wow. So family room is like a room where people just gather up and like talk. It's like it's the main room of that. Why is so 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 so? Whoa. picking up is that there is a privileged lady that's going to get in a love contract with someone in a family room there's a courtship that's a, that's going to change there's a wealthy man that's going to go to the courthouse and someone's going to be in despair because of what the judge says about this main female and main male and main female so this main male and main female are in their thoughts because this courthouse is going to change something because of this wealthy man and their courtship they could be getting a divorce <laughs> Wealthy man reverse, yeah. So, what the fuck? Is wealthy man's no longer gonna be a wealthy man? They're gonna lose it all from this divorce? They're gonna get a divorce and lose? They're gonna get a divorce. And there's a, a mature woman who's in bad health because of a message of concern, but they were because they were expecting a gift from a, from a mature man, and that was unexpected income. So someone's like. Oh my god, wow. So this is like a relationship ending. <laughs> this is so much happening. So this privileged lady is getting in a love contract. And it's causing bad health upon this wealthy man and well this broke man and this mature woman. Or is this mature man the wealthy man in reverse? The mature man is the wealthy man in a reverse. And they're all in the, the... All these people are in a court... So it's not you. You're not in the fucking family room. There's a wealthy man reverse in the family room. There's a mature man. There's a mature woman. And they're talking about someone being in bad health. And how they're expected 
for this privileged lady who's held in high honor to get this gift from a lover and its unexpected income and great fortune and a house child because it because oh because this great fortune is in, is this house and this because they were trying to keep this child away from the great fortune and unexpected income there's prison happening for what these people imprisonment um occupation and coffin so these people i heard there's evidence of what these people done my ear is like bothering me for some reason and it's not even like it's like someone's nagging at it or something you know what i mean but there's something about this death or something ending that's going to be a law like involved with the law there's someone that's going to get arrested for what they've done for trying to either end the privileged lady so someone's trying to end something yeah So there's a main and main there's a main male and male fe main female that are getting a message about the pathway that they're going on. Yeah, it's th this official po a person knows what this community has been up to. Okay, so who? So let me let me get this community because the community card came out. So they are all part of the community. What the fuck? We're digging into it as deep as I can to make as much sense of it as I can. Because I know I'm making sense, but I want to, like, have everything out. So there's a mature man, a mature woman, a wealthy man reverse, um, a main male and a main female, which are, like, the main culprits, and an official person, all in this community. And it's like they're talking about how, yeah... And a child is the pri the privileged lady is the child. Or there's a child involved. There might be like a divorce happening that's involving a child. Um, but there's messages going around that they've gone like about the path that they took uh, to going to imprisonment for what they've been occupied with. There's someone. There's something ending by the names of court, and this ending could be this unexpected income. So this is like bribery. I'm picking up bribery. Someone was trying to steal your great fortune in house, but now someone's fallen in bad health, and this is a concern. And people, because people are expecting to get this gift. So someone in bad health is changing up something in the law. This is like so many things, but there's also, yeah. What's going on with this? A thief. Is it going to change? Yeah, in the distant horizon, this thief is going to be uh, in poverty. For what they've done for trying to steal this great income and steal this house so there's there's a thief going broke in the community and like there's a whole community being brought down Why is there a, there's a whole community of people being brought down what the fuck yeah all because someone was trying to get unexpected income and great fortune uh they were trying to be seen in high honor so they went on this journey to change someone's house someone's vessel they're trying to cause an ending to someone's vessel um and they're gonna go to jail for being so occupied with doing this imprisonment adjudication and coffin that's the message that they got and they're in their thoughts about this pathway they're in concern this thief is concerned because they were thought they were going to get sudden wealth in this marriage but they just have bad health and that's the message of concern that they're they got they're expecting a court date soon and they're in despair because someone's in courtship with a false person, these lovers. Because you're the privileged lady and you put in work and this family room knows that this main female and this main male in this community. Oh my god. Yeah, so everyone in this everyone in this community is gonna go in poverty. Everyone involved in this community is going in poverty because they messed with this main female. Be not the, because they messed with the, the privileged lady, I mean. So like people are going to jail for trying to end your life. 
toil and labor. Their works have been out for how they've how they've been trying to steal this money from you. And you're held in high honor, so expect some unexpected income on this journey. Um, and they're expecting this income to change for them. But it's like someone has... It's like almost like they're trying to hack something. Um, and they're like... It's like they feel like they're doing stuff encrypted. Something about money laundering. So these people could be money laundering. Um, I heard to try and one-up you. It could have been money laundering with your money. Oh, look at that third chakra activation. I'm trying to stop me from saying that. So this is money laundering. This is someone that knows how to money launder. They were probably taught by someone um, how to money launder. And they've been trying to money launder off of you in your name. Um, but that's coming to an end in the near future. So what's going on, spirit? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Yeah, these people are really worried and in fear because they made bad choices. Um, they didn't seek out all the possibilities. They didn't. They didn't see what would all could happen. They were just too busy about living a lavish life. Something about today. You cut ties with something, and spirit wants you to stay in the like. These people are living in the moment, um, and now the moment's caught up to them. People are turning their backs on these people, and they're getting pissed off because of it. Uh, someone wants to be insincere and give you a fake apology, but this person has just been stalking you, spreading rumors, and talking shit about you. Um, you can clear your mind about this, though. Uh, and show yourself the feminine energy, so nurture yourself as well. These people are just trying to escape um, their punishment. Damn it, spirit. You're really talking today. Yeah, these, per these people are burned out and burdened. Uh, they're conflicted and confused because their masks are falling off. They can't, they've been trying to hide this or deceive you from it, but they can't. They're having nightmares because they're failure. They're failing. I mean, not, Jesus, spirit. You can laugh because everything's fine. Um, you're established as fuck and this narcissist is just two-faced because you're healing and you're not healing them. Um, they want to do, they want to like escape this judgment by any means necessary. So they're definitely going to come in and try and like stop you. Um, they're going to try and like do things in your external to make it quote unquote hard or more difficult to, um, stay focused is what I'm getting. But they're suffering in silence because they're clingy as fuck. They're stuck in their old ways. Um, and they feel like giving you the silent treatment is going to affect you. They feel like the silent treatment is going to affect them, affect you, which is weird. Why the, like, what? You don't even care about this person. So why would the silent treatment affect you? Yeah. They want you to be like their dirty little secret because they really still care about you. Uh, because they see you still living in harmony. They see you nurturing yourself while they're going through a disaster. And I think that pisses them off. Yeah, they're very stressed out because of you still being in harmony. They're very envious of you. Uh, they don't They don't think it's fair. Um, but this is like a second chance that you've wished for. And these people are insecure and paranoid because... They feel left out. So these people are trying to like abuse you. They're very unpredictable. So stay away from these people. Um, yeah, they miss they miss being intimate with you. You were very much a, a release for this person. So be stay away from this person. They would literally just be at you and just because you make them feel safe or secure. So these people need like mental checkups bad. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus, thank you, spirit. Yeah. Yeah, so these people they're paranoid as fuck because they're left out. Uh they're trying to abuse their way back in because you're still happy and healing. You don't trust these people at all because they're being petty as fuck. Um 
they can't, they're trying to, they, they're being forced to face their real feelings, um, and it's like, they're having a self-reflection and, real, and realizing that they did go down the wrong path, um, it's like you're, these people know that you're too busy to deal with them, but also it's only like, in, in time is running out for them, the time is running out for these toxic people, uh, and you're secure, these third-party karmics are envious of you, because you're getting a second chance and they're stressed out because they don't get the second chance they have to go through everything you went through um to get the second chance since they wanted to be you so bad they have to go through everything you went to get the second chance and they're not going to survive they know that they know how wise you are and they know about this disaster that's about to come up but you can stay in harmony because these narcissists again are two-faced because of your healing and they just want to do anything at all to get back because their life's a nightmare right now they're, they're very much stalking you, though, because they feel trapped. Um, and they're trying to hide that. They're exhausted and burnt out, but they're just confused because all they do is party. And they, they, they're they being rejected uh, and being left alone by people because you're getting a glow up. There's a soulmate in masculine energy that wants to get have like a getaway with you. Um, and this is going to be a mutual respect thing. Um, someone's definitely hit rock bottom, though. Someone's longing to talk to you, but they've hit rock bottom. Spirit wants you to slow down and take some time to yourself today. Live in the moment today. Because you've already cut ties with these people. Uh, they're just stuck in a continuous cycle, and that's why they're having legal issues. Because they're stagnant and stuck. They've hit a dead end. Um, this could be a family member that's also had a love, a love affair. But they're stuck in the deep end, and they're suffering the consequences of their actions right now. Um... And follow your dreams and stay nourished. Stay nourishing. Stay, like... Be very mother to yourself. Mother yourself. Stay very mother to yourself. Jesus. No, it's not even, like, early enough to talk. But, like, mother yourself. Because you're fine. Spirit just wants you to know that these people are going to suffer... A lot. Um, for what they've done. Like, your ancestors are not fucking around. You hear that thunder? They're not fucking around. They are not fucking around. They're like, listen, you wanna you wanna fuck around and find out? We'll kick your ass. That's what they're saying. That's what I'm feeling. So I wouldn't worry. This storm's is here. Let's go into the tarot. Let's dig into the tarot. Let's see. Okay, why did we... Before I go into the tarot, um, Spirit wants to... Spirit wants me to use the Iconic Roast again. <laughs> the Roast Iconic, I mean. The Iconic Roast Mama, it is iconic, let me tell you. So what's going on here, Spirit? Yeah... Someone's looking at you like a snack. Um, they're very enthralled by you. Who's who's this? Who's looking at them like a snack? Collective. This I do it. This narcissistic vampire that wanted trauma bind with you <laughs> is looking at you like a snack uh, because you're the real one and you're getting you're getting everything that that they. It's like be careful what you wish for because now you're getting everything that you want back. And these people are just chatting shit about you. Yeah, these people are just talking about you because you're an influencer. This cult leader can't stop talking about you. Because it's, it's like this cult leader doesn't think it's fair that you're getting everything back. Yeah, because you won. You're a legend. I knew it. Spirit wanted to call them a bitch. I literally felt it. I literally heard it multiple times. But this cult leader is a bitch. This narcissistic vampire is a bitch. Spirit wants me to very much put that out there. Um... You're gonna get rich. You're gonna be good. There's also a, a dick, um, like, space shuttle. So someone's trying to ride your, so be careful of dick riders. Yeah, they're gonna be lurking in the shadow, these dick riders are. Uh, these dick riders could be trolls, but they're very jealous of you because you're the chosen one. So take care of yourself.
This could mean like actual people trying to mess with you or just fucking people that live under a bridge. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. But these are simps because you're getting money and they're triggered because they can't gaslight you anymore because what they're doing is very obvious. Yeah, the, these people don't want... These people want you to feel like being empathic is an issue rather than uh, a gift. Yeah, this fashion wish. Yeah, so this fashion wish which is getting everything they deserve for feeling they had privilege to attack a starseed. Confirmation with that lightning flash. But this fashion witch is really going to get shit on. They're fucked. They're stupid. Yeah, mama. They are. Thank you, spirit. They said, yep. But this fashion witch thought that they were privileged enough to attack you, and it's like, no, you're not, and we're going to show you the proof of what happens when you attack an earth angel. You're just a piece of shit, and you're going to get your... You're gonna get curb stomped, is what's gonna happen. No, yeah. You're fucking with the with the very rare star seed, so get fucked. You you weird like you fake bitch, you fake hoe. You you think you know how to do magic, you're getting fucked. How does it feel to be a loser? How does it feel for everything for you to like how does it feel to be blank? You're just boring. Stay mad. Stay mad. You they're hiding how mad they are because they're a narcissist. They're a bitch. They need to stay in their own lane. Bitch came out again. This person, Spirit wants you to know this person's a big bitch. And they can get fucked. I love this deck. Yeah. They're trying to trauma bond to you. So they, that's why they're a bitch is because they're trying to trauma bond to you. I don't know if that's like agitation or if that's just like a, a really bad smell. But those, those lines, I think that just, this person might smell bad. This person might have a really shitty smell. They might have some sort of infection that's causing their smell to... Um, my ear's ringing, so yeah. Someone has an HIV or STD that makes them smell bad. Um, go get that fixed, honey. And stay... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, get fucked, stay in your lane. Get fucked, stay in your lane. Spirit wants me to... Once y'all know... On, on the dot, someone has an HIV, STD, uh, STI that makes them smell like shit. Um, and they need, to, they need to stay in their lane and get fucked. Because they could never, ever, ever do what you did. Especially if they want to be a ratty-tatty Ho, This person's feral. This is a feral bitch. This is someone that, that won't stop at anything to try and hurt someone. And spirit says, okay, so let me hurt you then. If you're going to try and do your mortal tricks, let me do my divine, let me do my fucking God tricks and, and show you what it's really like to have power. Um, is how it is. So, mama, I fucking know that for sure. I just heard, I just heard claim your karmic justice, mama. So claim your karmic justice right now. We have queen of cups in the upright. Two of Cups reverse, three of Pentacles reverse, four of Pentacles upright, eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, so you're the Queen of Cups. You're intuitive as fuck. And these people um, are breaking up. There's like a lack in a relationship. This team, these people that teamed up are breaking apart for, uh, and they're stopping trying to steal things from you. Uh, someone's releasing you and trying to, and someone's really open to a new perspective. That it was a lost opportunity from the start and that you've already come back in from the cold. These people are stuck um, because of your new beginning that you're having because you're the Empress. The Queen of Cups and Empress always come out together when you know it's a really, like, the Queen of Cups and Empress is a very, very good energy. It's someone who's emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. They can handle the power that they're given. And these people, you're, this, these, you're, you're these people's worst nightmares because not only are you a genuine person, but you have the power to literally have them suffer the worst. And it's like, oh, you won't do it, but you call for your karmic justice. And you, you call them, I heard by name, damn. So now they're going to suffer everything like that they've thrown out because they wanted to be all funny uh, and take these wrong leaps. They wanted to be a dumbass, honestly. The fool in reverse is someone that feels like a jackass, like a dumbass. Um, and they wanted to betray you and get away with it. But they can't. They're aloof. They don't understand. Uh, they're, they're trying to resist some sort of change. 
you know, hopping on one foot, clapping three times, fucking blinking their eyes at seven times and rolling their eyes counterclockwise, all that dumb shit, um, that the devil says that you can do these things and it works, and they just look like an idiot doing it, all those things, oh, let's get a bundle of sticks and start breaking them so we can, like, control what, like, no, like, listen, but yeah, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, this person was just trying to manipulate you and cause challenges uh, to this new insp this new uh, beginning that you're that you are tra uh, traveling towards. To they wanted, and they don't know how you keep. Some of them want you to know they are talking shit about you. This King of Cups as well, but you know that this King of Cups is talking shit about you. Uh, these people are not successful at all. They're stuck in the past, and they're like they were tempted by the devil and lost. Yeah, they can't focus on anything that they're doing now. They can only focus about like all these punishments, all this jail time. They're getting just they're yeah, they're getting a message of concern about how they're not gonna get good fortune, how they're on the um bad side of fortune. And there's gonna be delays in their life. They're not gonna be able to do what they want to do, which is really causing them to be pissed off because you have an emperor coming in and someone doesn't didn't want that to happen. Someone's gonna be in financial disarray. Uh, because they did not pass this test, they did not close out this cycle. Meanwhile, you're going to be in the ten of, uh, ten of Pentacles. You're going to be very luxurious. You're going to live that luxurious life that you've always wanted. Um, yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles as well, because you've done it all by yourself. Nine Nine is very significant. That's a completion of a cycle. Um, your wishes are being fulfilled on a material level and on a spiritual and emotional level. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be satisfied with your life. You're literally getting all the yeses from the universe right now. Um, we have Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Leo energy, out, <sighs> and Aries, there's an, and someone's, this Aries could be scared of the unknown, or there's just someone scared of the unknown, uh, for trying to break a Libra's heart, a Scorpio tried to, like, break a Libra's heart, but you, like, I feel like you've forgiven this uh, Scorpio. You could be any sign, but I'm just, I'm feeling like a, a Scorpio tried to break a Leo's heart, but the Libra moved on, or vice versa, take it as it resonates. But I'm telling you the truth that these people are going to have painful permanent endings and they're not going to be able to do. All their hard work is going back on them. Um, they had some unre unrealistic goals that a higher, a, a religious leader, a judge has is seeing. Um, I don't know why, but I heard the judge thinks that these people are a failure. Um, I don't know if this is someone judging them or if this is like an actual judge, but there's a judge that's extremely disappointed. Yeah, this judge is going to make sure that they that these people don't have an easy moving forward with the Three of Wands reverse and the Ace of Cups because of how emotionally relentless they were. They had no emotion. They weren't going to stop at anything to get you, so they're going to make sure that these people can't move on. Uh, these people are very malicious, and that this judge sees that. And this judge is not going to let these people get away with it. It's like, yeah, you did this, this, and that. So what we're going to do is we're going to punish you. Um, but you're not going to, like, you're not going to get bailed out. Like, we're going to, we, we don't think you should get bailed out. You're not suitable to walk back in society for doing this. Yeah, this community doesn't know what's going to happen to them now. Uh, this whole community is falling apart and breaking. There's a, there's a debt. There is a collective debt going in this community. There's a Taurus involved in Pisces. Things are coming back into balance because of all these, uh, because of all this shit being done un unruly to you, unfairly, unjustfully to you. And there's a balance being made because your angels are here. These people did not see this coming. Uh, their hidden agendas have been have been aired out. Yeah, they didn't focus on the long-term goals. These people did this out of ego, ego, and now they don't know what to do. They're having a lack of faith. It's like they're trying to pray to God for help, but they're the sacrifice. So the only like they're not going to get help. They are the sacrifice. Um, Cause you're the Queen of Wands, and you had to, and you 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 had to go through so much shit. You're moving forward with grace, and these people are just holding on to past resentments. They're like. Yeah, so maybe these people already were falling in some sort of financial hardship because of you in the past, and they're holding that against you still, um, which is why you get to move on. But you're gonna like, 
yeah, this this community sees that you're you're brave and that you're pushing on still. So pe that's why one reason people are dropping out of this community because you're still pushing on. We have Aries and Sagittarius energy. And then this is a test of faith. These people are not going to have any financial success at all. They're going to be very broke, poor, scattering for money. Because um, you're the queen of pentacles, pentacles, you're also a hermitist. You very much just know everything that they're doing. Um, you don't have to be around these people to know anything. And that scares them. Um, because they would never in their life have that type of connection with anyone, including God. Because uh, they turn God away. Um, but you're the queen of pentacles as well. You're all the queens in the upright. We love that. Except for the Queen of Swords in reverse. But you really are Empress material. Someone just wanted to lie about you. And judgment is being called. Yeah. They're getting a message about judgment being called on them. Uh, and they don't like it. They feel very weak now because of this judgment call. Um, there's a king. Of, yeah, because they know that they were just trying to be abusive and controlling over you. And taking some uh, hasty action. But they're, they're, the people are just telling these people, yeah, you're not going to have any finances at all. You're going to be broke. You're going to be, you're going to be busted and disgusted. Some of you aren't going to make it the next day. Some of you all are just going to end up in a grave. Some of you are going to be your own cause for your grave. Uh, something about someone losing a car. Someone's going to have car issues here soon. Is what I'm also picking up. I've been picking up on forever. But someone wanted you to have transportation issues. So now they're not. They're either going to lose their car or something about their their steering their their axis what, like an axis in their car is going to just break or fuck up spirit you're telling you why do you give me these details so someone's axis is going to break and they're going to like slam into a post light <laughs> um i'm not trying to laugh at that <laughs> but spirit said yeah you should just say that out loud real quick and i was like why but that's what's gonna happen to someone with the photo game. Shit. Um, let's dig into the the angel prayers. Let's see what angels want to say. What's up, angels? Messages in the world. Angels. Angels come out. Come on, I know y'all have some message, right? <laughs> oh, there was just a blockage. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle two more times. Spirit. So if there's any angels that need to come out. There's not really many messages from this. I think I think they want me to get the actual angels out, but I wanted to see if there's any angel messages. Uh, but there is. Oh wow. Yeah, so there oh, I, I, I like this. I like this. So we have love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for loving me, guiding uh, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. We have trust your vibes. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. We have honor your beauty with Archangel Joe I fell. Thank you, Joe I fell, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And transformation with Archangel Zadkayo. Thank you, Zadkayo, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Period T. Period T. But now we're going to get into the angel cards. I just want to use those cards because they're so cool. And Spirit is like, yeah, I know, but you got other things to do. So Spirit, you all know the rules. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to split three times. And then I'm going to shuffle seven face up. And then we're going to read from the book. And then we'll be done. So let's see. seven wasn't it my bad 
I miss Cat about the shuffle eight. Oh, Spirit did want me to shuffle one more time. And yeah. So there. Justice is on the ball. I feel like I'm in this book. I don't know why I said that, but Spirit wanted me to like, yeah, I, I think that's why. And it's funny because this card started off on the bottom. Um, and I don't know how it ended up back on the bottom because of all the shuffling I did. But we're gonna get through this. Damn, not Michael being out here. got these in order okay we do so let us begin we have Michael the chariot who is like God perseverance success and conflicts overcoming advisories adversaries Psalm 9110 Thou shalt, thou, uh, there shall be no evil before thee, neither shall plague come nigh thy dwelling. Archangel Michael is the, will bring success and conflict and defeat your adversaries with ease. He rules over the order of archangels. Thank you, Michael. Show him who's fucking boss. Kaleo. Yeah, Kaleo. My hair, can you stay out of my eye? Like, really. I keep telling you not to get in my eye. And you, all you do is you stay in my eye. Can you not? I have to read. Kaleo, the invocable god. Justice makes the truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. Uh, Thrones, Psalm 35, 24. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Dorn both under Kaleo will possess integrity and love and truth, and will distinguish itself in government. Kaleo makes the truth known in court, allows innocence to triumph, and confounds the guilty in false testimony. So if someone's been lying against you in court, they're fucked, basically. Soul guardian for those born 5.40am uh, to 6am. Moral guardian of those born April 6th, June 17th, August 28th, November 8th, or January 19th. Physical guardian for those born June 13th to 17th. Uh, Hahaya? Dude, I can't put my hair behind my ear because this earring, this new piercing I have. I don't want to get tangled up, but I'm about to just... Give me a second. I'm going to like twist you up. I'm gonna fuck you up for a minute because you're really being annoying. My god, it's gonna look weird, but fuck it. We have Pahaya, the uh, god listening and concealment. Uh, politics and ambition wins judgment and protects all those who seek truth. We have Dominion, Psalm 19, 145. I cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. Ahia serves to win judgment and to render judges favorable, protects all those who seek the truth and brings men to the contemplation of divine things. Ahia rules over politicians, diplomats, ambassadors, peace treaties and contracts in general, and influences car couriers, communications, agents, and secret expeditions. Soul guardian from those born 8.20 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. Moral guardian of those born April 14th, June 25th, September 5th, November 16th, or January 27th. Physical guardian of those born July 23rd to 27th. We have Lekabel, God the teacher, intellectual talent and provides knowledge. Um, Dominions, 
Psalms 17, 16. I will go into the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness even in thine only. Even of thine only. This, the person born under the influence of Like a Bell loves astronomy, mathematics, and geometry. Like a Bell may be called upon for the acquisition of knowledge and governs vegetation and ag agriculture. So, guardian of those born from 10 a.m. to 20 a.m. Um, moral guardian for those born April 19th, June 30th, September 10th, November 21st, or February 1st. Physical guardian of those born from October, uh, August 17th to 21st. We have Basara, uh, Basaria. We have Basaria, God the Just, clemency and equilibrium protects against attacks in the courts. This is so. This legal. This is a legal situation that's about to come to a fucking complete full on halt. And whoever's coming up against you is going to get not only in for perjury for lying, but they've also have some sort of false documents. Is what I'm picking up. They're gonna get shit on to the highest. It's like you've gone too far just to try and do something to someone, and you were harassing them, and you were trying to get them kicked out, and you were like. Like, if the death penalty was not, if, like, oh my god, like, honestly, if the death penalty was harsher than it was, these people would be executed for just being inhumane. Like, they, like, let me tell you, if we were back in the old days, these people would be hung in the street for what they've done. Heads on a pike for an example of what not to do with people. Spiritually, that's what's going to happen to them. I'm not lying, because this is the, like, I'm picking it up. My ancestors are letting me know that back in the day if they did this shit, death in public humiliated by public and the closest thing to that is an ego death because <laughs> we got to keep things humane we have god the just dominions psalm 33 4 for the wind of the lord is right and all his works are done in truth those born under vesari's influence will have good memory and speak eloquently eloquently and will enable enable spiritual and modest uh, Basariah can protect against those who would make attacks in court, rules over justice and influences nobility, legal ex uh, excuse, uh, ex executive, like, legal executives, magistrates, and attorneys, sole guardian of those born 10.20 a.m. to 10.40 a.m., moral guardian of those born April 20th, July 1st, September 11th, November 22nd, or February 2nd. Physical guardian of those born August 22 through the 26th. I rebuke any and all spell work sent to me, and I send it back to its sender tenfold. As it, as ruthless as it was sent to me, is as ruthless as it needs to be sent back. In the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Yahuwah, the omniscient God, submission to higher order, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. That's funny that you're the next one to come up because of that shit that I just had to do. Um, so thank you for just being here ahead of time. Powers, Psalms 94, 11. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. The person born under the influence of this angel will love to fulfill all the works of their estate. Yahuwah will, will recognize traitors and destroy their projects and their uh, uh, machinations and protects all protects all Christian leaders and makes their subjects obedient. Soul guardian for those born 10.40 a.m. to 11 a.m. Moral guardian of those born April 21st, July 2nd, September 12th, November 23rd, or February 3rd. Physical guardian of those born August 27th to 31st. We have... Hapakia. God of joy, reconciliation, regains the favor of those ones offended. Uh, Powers, Psalms 116.1 I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Those born under uh, Hak Hava uh, Havakia will love to live in peace with everyone. They, they make it their duty to repay the fidelity and good offices of those in their service. Habakia supports peace and harmony in families and rules over contracts, successions, and ample destruction and distributions. Soul guardian of those born 11:20 a.m. to 11:40 a.m. Moral guardian of those born April 23rd, July 4th, September 14th, November 25th, or February the 5th. Uh, physical guardian of those born September 6th through the 10th. 
We have Aniel, god of all virtues, breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers, and brings victory. Uh, powers, Psalms 80, 20. Turn us again, O Lord of God, uh, O God. O Lord God of hosts, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Those born under Anael will acquire celebrity through their talents and enlightenment, and will distinguish themselves amongst the wise. Anael gives victory and rules over the science and the arts, reveals secrets of nature, and inspires wise philosophers with their, medit uh, with their meditations. Soul guardian of those born 12 p.m. to 12.20 p.m. Moral guardian of those born April 25th, July 6th, September 16th, November 27th, or February 7th. Physical guardian of those born September 16th to the 20th. We have Mihael, a god, father, the generous. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. Virtues, palm, Psalms, uh, forty-eight, two. Lord, the Lord hath made known His salvation. His righteousness hath be, uh, He, His righteousness hath He openly shewed in the sight of the heaven, of the heaven, of the heaven. Yeah, of the heathen. Goodness, let me repeat that. Lord hath made known His salvation. His righteousness hath He openly shewed in the sight of the heathen. Those born other Mithael will be passionate for love and will be walking, will love walking and all pleasures in general. Mithael preser preserves the peace between married couples and gives protection, uh, promotions, and secret inspirations. Soul guardian of those born 3.40 p.m. to 4 p.m. Moral guardian of those born May 6th, July 17th, September 27th, December 8th, or February 18th. Physical guardian of those born November 9th to 14th. We have Nanael. Yeah, Nanael. A spiritual communication, a god humiliating the proud. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. Principalities, Psalms 119.75. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness have afflicted me. The person born under Nanael's influence will have a melancholy demeanor and will pursue a private life, rest, and meditation. They will distinguish themselves through knowledge of the abstract sciences. Nanael rules over high sciences and is able to influence religious men, teachers, magistrates, and men of law. Soul guardian of those born 5.20 p.m. to 5.40. Um, I really am just going to put all my hair behind my ear. I don't care. That will be fine. Moral guardian of those born May 11th, July 22nd, October 2nd, December 13th, or January 23rd. Physical guardian of those born December 5th through 9th. We have uh, Poyel, God who supports the universe. For fortune and fame fulfills any request. Principalities, Psalms 145, 15. The Lord upholdeth all that fall. And raises up all that will that be bowed down. Born, those born under Poyel's influence will be held in esteem for their modesty, moderation, and agreeable humor. They will find success through their talents and conduct. Poyel will obtain whatever one requests and rules over fame, fortune, and philosophy. Soul guardian over those born from 6:20 p.m. to 6:40 p.m. Moral guardian of those born May 14th, July 25th, October 5th, December 16th, or February 26th. Physical guardian for those born December 20th to 24th. And last but not least, we have Harahel, uh, ha the all-pervading god. Intellectual richness protects fertility of women, makes children respectful towards their parents. Archangels, Psalm 113.3. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Those born under Harael will love to be instructed in sciences. They will be busy in business, will follow activities of the stock exchange, will speculate successfully, and will be distinguished by talents and fortune. Harael can be called upon against the severity of women to, and to make their children obedient to their parents and governs treasures, banks, printings, and books. Soul guardian of those from 7.20 p.m. to 7.40 p.m. 
Moral Guardian of Those Born May 17th, July 28th, October 8th, December 19th, or March 1st. Physical Guardian of Those Born from January 4th through the 8th. Um, thank you all so much for being here with this reading. Uh, I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Um, yeah, just again, thank you so much for being here, um, supporting me. It's been beautiful. And the birds are chirping now, like, beautiful. Um, if you're new and you like the vibe, hit subscribe and the bell to be notified whenever I post videos, go live on, go live or post on the community tab. If you'd like to email me for a personal reading, meditation music, like the music you're hearing in the background now, uh, for sigil or runic work or any means necessary, just email me. We got you. Also, if you want to be part of the group chat, hit me up for that too. Um, if you would like to donate, feel free to. We have the links in the description. We have super chats and memberships that you can be a part of. But regardless, your energetic donations stand above all because that's how we get the messages out. And that's all we care about over here. Um, I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you all later.